What's up my people? It's day 41 of the fast. And to celebrate, I put on mascara today. My mom would be so happy. But then I went and I rubbed my eye and I'm like, oh yeah, that's right, this is why I don't wear makeup. So, it's day 41. It's a good day. I hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Thank you for being here. It's been, it's been a grand time, you know? To uh, my Chick-fil-A video that got a lot of hate to the fasting experience and all the people that thought I was not gonna make it till 30 days. Look at me, day 41, that's right, that's what's up. So um, I have great energy and that's because I have been sticking to my snake juice, you see? I was just being stubborn and trying to do my own thing, but it's like clockwork. You drink the snake juice, you feel good. You have a good day, you have some energy, you can be a functioning human. You don't have to lay in your bed all day. You see, now I'm talking like I'm from New York, but I'm not from New York. Okay, back to back to day 41. So yeah, uh, you know, keeping it simple, snake juice. Like that's just all you gotta do, people. Follow Cole Robinson, do what he says, and you will feel good. It's simple. Fasting is simple. People are asking me, so what are you gonna refeed with? I'm gonna go for some bone broth. Then I'm gonna try some eggs and some avocados and some soft vegetables. I'm gonna see how my body feels. You see, let me tell you what, this is something that people need to know about me. I am not a planner, you see. I plan, what I, what I learned in my life is that I would plan my life and then things would turn out like a hundred times better than what I actually planned for. So I'm like, screw the planning because Life is crazy and every day is so different that I want to step into a new day, I want my circumstances to be different, and I want to be able to easily pivot. You see, when you have too much of a plan and you try to stick with it, then you like feel like you can't pivot or you can't change directions. And you know, sometimes you will miss out on a good opportunity because you are so focused on your stupid dumbass plan where you know there's a there's a bigger picture for you that's grander and better and you could be totally closed off to what that entails. And so, like, just take it day by day. Like, you know, I did not know about cryptocurrency one day, and then I knew about it the next day, and then I made, like, a pretty decent size investment. And, you know, I could have been just, like, so closed off to cryptocurrency and all other business ventures and investments and ideas, and so focused at the time when I had a food truck business that it could have definitely, like, not put me in a position to be where I am today where, I get to enjoy life in Puerto Rico, and you know, my crypto gains have changed my life forever. And obviously things aren't all grand like they were one year ago in the crypto space, but that's important when it comes to the planning aspects of things. So, like I said, I'm not a planner. Planning has done nothing for me. Um, I know people are all about like planning and these goals and all this stuff, but for me, taking it day by day and just really moving towards like your ultimate goal and not just being so tunnel vision and focused is the most beneficial. But you do you, whatever works for you. I'm just, you know, giving you the little 411 on what works for me. So another thing to consider when fasting is like your heart will beat fast. And I believe that is from not having enough salt. So I so far today have drank like one liter of snake juice but um, I've been in my warm apartment because what happens when I shoot videos is to turn off all the air conditioning and all the fans so that my audio is good. And so, you know, it's like my body's under more stress. So at the moment, I'm, you know, excited and doing this video, but like my heart is pounding. Like I need to go get some snake juice. So what I'm gonna do below is I'm going to leave some information on exactly what the snake juice recipe is so that you can get that in you too if you are fasting. It makes a world of a difference. So, people have definitely differing opinions on water versus no water. I know I've talked about this before, but I've spoken with Cole now at this point, and what I've understood is that when I go when I go back to refeeding, if I have been drinking salt water, that my refeeding process uh, will be less dangerous, and that's important to me because you have heard of people dying from going back to refeeding, and so. Snake juice is definitely important. And so that's what I have for you on day 41. You know, I want to incorporate a lot of these like aspects of life and how I get through things because what I've kind of learned through all of this is that this all comes down to mental strength and I think that is one of the strongest attributes I have. Um, I have really been able to push through in my life and I don't know what it is, you know, I don't know if it was the way I was raised or maybe it was just brain God gave me, but 
I feel like mental strength is, um, you know, something that I have that has uh, really propelled me through life. And if that could help people, then I want to help people. Like, I want people to gain value. Like, I want my channel to be lots and lots of value. So if you have any particular subjects you want me to speak on, leave a comment below. Subscribe, like, bell notifications, do the dang thing. Oh yeah, go out there and create a life you love.